hello and welcome to my channel my name is sandy and today i'm going to show you how i made this delicious meal it's super easy you don't need a lot of ingredients so hope you like it so first of all i washed the fish with lemon just to get rid of the fishy smell if you like this video don't forget to subscribe share and like and then I use Maggi to season the fish. I absolutely love Maggi and I use it a lot in my meal. So I sliced the fish a little bit just so that I could get the season inside just to give it a bit more flavour. Once the seasoning was done, I peeled the skin off the potatoes. I didn't actually have a potato peeler or cutter, so I used the knife. If you're using this method, you need to be really careful. You don't want to cut your nails or your fingers. Once the potatoes are all peeled, it's completely your choice on how you cut them. For me, I decided to slice them. It's all ready to boil now. And then I moved on in cutting my ingredients. So it, it all depends on how you want to cut your ingredients. There's no format. I just decided to cut them in this way. Once all the ingredients have been sliced and chopped, it is time to fry the fish. You just need a little bit of oil in the pan and then when it gets a bit hot, you then put the fish in. You can tell when it's ready to be turned, when the fish on the edges kind of look a bit brown. That is when you should turn it because it's easier to turn that. But if you turn it before that, it will stick to the pan and it won't have a good look like this one. Now that the fish is out of the way, it's time to fry up our vegetables. So I went in with the garlic first and when it started turning a bit brown, I added the onion, the ginger, the chilli and the spring onions and I only fried it up about a minute. Of course, it is your choice on how long you want to fry it up for but I didn't want to overcook it so I only did it for a minute.
this is the end result i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you do try it out at home don't forget to subscribe share and like and if you have any comments or suggestions of what i should do next you should put it down in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye